Good day everyone. My name is Gerardo G. Mercado Jr. and I'm here to report all about Quad Antenna. First, what is Antenna? Antenna is an electrical device which creates an electromagnetic field that proceeds out from the transmitting antenna to the receiver's antenna which then converts the electromagnetic wave into electrical signals that are applied to the receiver's input stages. The Quad Antenna The cubical quad or quad antenna is a type of directional war radio antenna or beam antenna which radiate, radiates in a specific direction. It is used on the high frequency ranging 3 to 30 megahertz and very high frequency ranging from 30 to 300 megahertz bands. It consists of a driven element and parasitic elements. It takes the form of a loop of wire which may be square, round or some other shape. Quad antenna has traditionally not been as widely used as, as its more popular cousin, the Yagi antenna. However, the cubical quad beam antenna is able to provide some advantages in number of circumstances. It has been used for some television antennas, but it, but it has also seen a lot of use within amateur radio application for use at high frequency and very high frequency. Although, the, cubica, the cubical quad antenna is not nearly as widely used as the Yagi, it still has advantages and can be used to good effect in many instances. So later, we will tackle about the advantages and disadvantages of quad antenna over Yagi antenna. Next. History Back in 1951, Clarence Moore, a Christian missionary and engineer at a radio station high in the Andean Mountains of Ecuador, developed a two-loop antenna that he called a cubical quad. He developed this antenna to resolve issue caused by a large coronal discharge while using a Yagi beam antenna in the thin air of higher altitudes. Next. Quad Antenna Basics The basic quad antenna element consists of a loop of wire a wavelength, a wavelength long in the form of a square, like the Yagi antenna. The quad beam only ever has a single reflector, although more than one director provides additional gain. Often, the cubical quad is constructed by having an X frame made from insulating material, even wood, and then using this to support the wire or tube that forms the conducting radiating element. The basic quad element can be seen to derive from two dipole elements stuck one above the other and fed in base. This arrangement in itself gives gain because of phasing effect between the two dipoles. Next. Quad beam reflector. The reflector can be added behind the driven element to make a cubical quad beam antenna. To give the right the right pacing of the currents in the element of the beam antenna for it to reflect, it should be made inductive. And this can be accomplished by tuning it below resonance. This can be achieved in a number of ways. The first is to make the reflector slightly longer than the electrical pull wavelength. 
Typically, it is made between 3 and 5% longer. An, alter an alternative method is to insert a short circuit stub. This has the advantage that the element can be made exactly the same size as the driven element and this may be have some mechanical advantages for the quad beam antenna <coughs> next quad beam element spacing in the same way that the element spacing played a large part in the design of the yagi beam antenna the same is, pa is found for the quad. In general, the spacing around 0 0.15 to 0 0.2 of wavelength is used conveniently, gives a feed impedance of around 50 ohms. The spacing is reduced below about 0 0.15 wavelengths, then the impedance falls. The spacing also has some effect on the gain. However, as in the case of the Yagi antenna, the, e the effect is fairly small and the impedance matching is the major requirement while adjusting the space for the cubical quad beam antenna. Next, the advantages of cubical quad antenna over Yagi antenna. First is gain. The cubical quad beam antenna covers about 2 dB over a Yagi of a similar length. This means that the quad compares to a pair of stock Yagis as there is always some loss in the feed arrangements for stacking the two antennas. The second advantage is low angle radiation. The fact that the quad antenna is effectively a pair of stock dipoles, it offers a low angle of radiation than the provided by a single Yagi. It compares to a pair of stock Yagis. And the third is effects of close objects. The quad antenna is less affected by nearby objects giving it an edge over the Yagi in many installations, especially those that are inside possibly in the loft or attic. This, the, dis the disadvantage of cubical quad antenna over Yagi antenna. First is construction. The construction of the quad antenna is not as straightforward as simple Yagi. It requires a more complicated form of construction. The second is the cost. The more complicated construction often result in the higher cost of a quad than for a Yagi. This has meant that for a commercial very high frequency with a high frequency operation it is rare, rarely used. That said, for amateur radio high frequency, high frequency operation, it enabled homemade construction with wire to provide some cost effective installations. And the third is robustness. The quad antenna is larger than its equivalent Yagi and the spider arrangement used on many high frequency bands is often not as robust as a Yagi. Next. These are some important formulas over 
about quad antenna. The cubical quad antenna consists of multiple squares placed one after another. The first square is the reflector A or the color red in the picture. The second one is the driven element B, the color black square in the picture. And all other squares are directors or the letter C, the color green box on the picture. So you can add as said earlier, you can add directors to have more higher gain. So the formula the formulas are first L sub A is equal to 78.5 over F. The length is in meters and the F is in megahertz. Next, length of B. 76.6 over F. Then, second, the length. Length S1 or the, the, the space between the reflector and the driven element. 55.3 over F. Then, length of S2 or the length between the driven element and the director 55.7 over F so remember that the length is the all length is in meters and the frequency is all in megahertz so in summary the quad antenna is first discovered by Clarence Moore in 1951 and its structure is just like a stock Yaki antenna however it is not as wide as used as Yagi antenna due to high frequency application the reflector of quad beam antenna should be longer 5% than the director of it to provide more gain the advantages of quad beam antenna over Yagi antenna is higher gain, lower angle radiation, and it does not affected by nearby objects. However, it requires more complicated construction than Yagi antenna, and it may result higher cost due to its complicated structure. Multiple choices questions Number 1 Clarence Moore first discovered the quad antenna in the year A 1950 B 1951 C 1952 D 1953 The, the correct answer is letter B 1951 Number 2 Quad antenna often compared to blank due to its similar structure. Letter A, sector antenna. Letter B, loopstick antenna. C, Yagi antenna. Or T, plasma antenna. The correct answer is letter C, Yagi antenna. Number 3. The element spacing of quad antenna should be blank wavelength. Letter A, 0 0.15 to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. Letter C, 0 0.05 to 0 0.15. Or letter D, 0 0.3 to 0 0.4. The correct answer is letter A, 0 0.15 to 0 0.2. Number 4, all quad antenna advantages, advantages stated except A, gain, B, Low angle radiation C. Effects on nearby objects or D. Cost. So the correct answer is letter D. Cost. If the frequency of the driven element of quad antenna is 200 MHz, what will be the total length 
in meters. Letter A, 1.467 B, 1.532 C, 1.665 D, 1.743 So, the correct answer is letter B, 1.532 Thank you.